so this is the uh, table I created in my previous video so I'm going to render this table so first thing you need to go is uh, go and pick ray tracing uh, in this menu and then go to preferences and set your preferences so I you not do that you select uh, ray tracing so I already selected uh, what the executable for the uh, POV ray you have to set up these parameters uh, plus a for anti-aliasing so that I set it up now width and height you can set it up uh, the way you want it to be I, I set it up such a way that my width of my um, image to be thousand units and height to be 800 units you can alter it if you, if you prefer it so rest of it is pretty standard um, you don't have to do anything here now for the max match deviations I set it up um, as the 0 0.01 so those are the setups so I'm going to click out of that now the view should be set up for perspective view so for any render so that's that you set it up and one more thing Thing that you have to set it up is also for the, all the geometric elements you want to get your deviation as small as possible the recommender size is anywhere from 0.1 to 0 0.01 so I'm going to go and set it up to 0 0.01 so that is set up now so then let's turn some buttons on pure ray itself so I'm going to go with the highest quality so I'm going to select this guy so now this uh, that is the POV project file so everything related to POV ray is in this project uh, I would say folder so next thing is to put all these uh, elements uh, the table elements into this POV project uh, folder so we do that is click on this button so it says insert a new part object into tree tracing project so that's what we're going to do so now we have all the elements so it's what, what it what it does is um, POV within the POV fold itself these um, uh, these elements get converted they get some kind of they create a mesh and and that mesh is inserted into this uh, folder that's what it is and, and you, you will uh, get to know more about it when we output the POV ray uh, output file and it, it, this these uh, um, mesh details will be in that um, file so we'll, we'll talk about that uh, more in details uh, in next few minutes so now you have created uh, your project file what you have to do is to do, uh, uh, you know, you have to have a camera set up. So the camera setup is essentially, we don't have any options here how to set up the camera within FreeCAD. Whatever the view that you have here, that's how the camera is going to be set up. So if you want to change your view, you have to rotate it and that will, then you have to press this one to set up your camera. So I'm going to set up the camera and uh, so sorry, I have to pick the project so let's pick this one and then set up the camera okay now that worked now um, you can output your uh, project um, and um, you you can um, then work on that output file uh, to modify your lighting your colors and whatever you want to do so um, that's what we are going to do here because within FreeCAD there is very limited what you can do uh, in terms of adding colors or changing uh, changing the lighting um, uh, within PO, uh, within the FreeCAD. So you have to take it outside if you want to do more enhancements to your uh, your image. So now we got the POV project set up. So we're going to output this one. So let me first uh, 
set up the camera again make sure that it's set up so we'll go to output the um, pov ray file let's say give us some name to it now the file is saved uh, in that folder so for for the just for the heck of it i'm going to um, render this image and uh, you can see how that image looks so what would happen is uh, you don't have much um, facilities within FreeCAD to change colors or enhance lighting as I said earlier so but you can render an image so we can take a look at it once we do that so let's do give a file name but to your image let's say a table and let's see what it does so it's doing some rendering in the background uh, as soon as it is done you can see the image now this is the rendered image uh, that it splits out so it create a separate uh, file and the image is as you can see it's much sharper but uh, let's see how we can enhance this further when we take it outside of FreeCAD. So now um, I have opened the POV Ray uh, interface. Now this is completely separate from FreeCAD. So this has no connection to FreeCAD right now. Uh, in fact, I can switch off the, um, you know, completely turn off the FreeCAD and it'll, it'll works just fine so there are a couple of uh, things you need to set up here one is go to um, edit settings uh, on the render and set up your source file now you can go to the folder that you have saved your source file and this is the one we output from freecad as you remember earlier so that's one thing you need to uh, link to. Then uh, in this, you can set up your image size with the uh, aspect ratio. And I recommend putting anti-aliasing on. There's slight um, advantage or this, uh, side benefit when you switch it on. So I set it up for this image size. Now, since I already set up, I'm not going to press save, but um, if you're doing it for the first time, you have to do that. So once I'm going to cancel and get out of that. Now, um, you have to go and open up the file you already um, saved out, output from uh, FreeCAD. But since I have already done that, I'm going to correctly go there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the file that we out from output from FreeCAD. Now this has all the um, mesh data in it. So these mesh represent the uh, the table elements. So you have a bunch of them, um, and this is a standalone file. Okay, and uh, you can do whatever you want, and it will not have any impact on FreeCAD. Okay, so um, so what we are going to do is uh, going to change few things in this to get the image we want now first thing we are going to change is the lighting and then uh, we're going to define a lighting uh, and then we are going to also define the uh, flow uh, that the table is going to sit on it uh, and then uh, we are going to define some colors uh, for the table so those are the three items we are going to do in this now this is um, uh, um, essentially written in c plus plus and you can type it in any way you like uh, you know you can if you want to change something or add some comments you just you know type something in and you you can do, do alter it uh, and the only thing you have to do is to, you have to save it and then you run it so those are the things that you will do this is the run command where you will render it so 
let's uh, in in terms of timing i'm not going to change you know word by word here i'm going to go to the final output file and work through that and show you what changes i made um, so this is the file i finally uh, you know created out of this and only few things change so one well, first one i change is the lighting now um, so i added few things i you know put the light source on these coordinates uh, in the image and and then created um, you know jitter effect which is kind of uh, give more realistic lighting uh, and and then you know uh, you know these are the, some of these um, changes i made i'm going to put a link here that will give you more details where i got these um, uh, the the sources for these um, for learning purposes so uh, i made the change for the lighting and the next thing is um, i change was the uh, added the flow as i said earlier so this is the uh, the box it, it, you can create you know you're creating a small box uh, and then give it a texture to that uh, giving just show that as a, a more for you know, flow kind of a texture uh, and that would help full to um, when you render the image you're going to get uh, some realistic um, um, shadow effect and then as you see i have to create a separate uh i'm say declare a separate a variable uh, called a t wood um, stf which is represents the the wood grains on the table top now uh, this yeah, the effect is created by this uh, these uh, parameters now you can change it and you can play around it and see what effect that would have so that's the third one i change and then the four, for the fourth one we have to assign colors to each element so in order to do that what you have to do is um, essentially go and select object and search for each element and uh, and each element represent the part of the table so i used you know that dark brown color on each of the element and that's um, given by this piece of code okay so like that i keep adding uh, i you know pick all the objects all the elements and adding the color now there is a color already defined okay this is the original color i don't like that so i'm going to <coughs> pick this color sorry um, and i keep flipping over each one now this is the tabletop and i want it to show it as a you know that wood grain effect so i'm going to put this one now i have the wood grain effect in a in the uh, the width side i mean typically you should have it on the uh, length side but i don't care i'm going to you know for the for the uh, you know learning purposes I, that's good enough okay so essentially those are the only changes i made now once you change this save it and run it that's all you have to do so it will or uh, it will run and render the image it will take some time uh, and render the image i'm not going to do it right now i'm going to directly go to the image and show you what the output looks like so this is the output that um, it generated so you can see this this jitter effect is there and then you can see uh, the the shadowing effect and that's because you know, i have the light source over here so that's why this uh, this image uh, the the shadows of this image is appearing like this and then also you can see my wood grain on the tabletop and the dark brown 
blackish gray color on the other elements so that i think that would uh, give you some high idea how to render an image in a pov ray uh, and then i'm going to follow up with another video uh, with the more advanced um, using more advanced uh, rendering software thank you